Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another three body problem reaction. We are on episode four. Um, yeah, like I've been saying pretty much every episode, I'm loving the show so far. It's been, yeah, it's been a really good adaption from what I, from what I understand. Um, yeah, I don't have too much to say. It's just been, it's just been really good. Um, yeah, I guess the one thing from last episode was the, the conversation with Lord. Uh, that was, that was awesome. That was not something that I had seen in, uh, the Tencent version that I watched. Um, I believe someone said it was from, it happened in book two. So that would have been, would be season two, I guess, the Tencent version of that occurs. Um, but yeah, that was a really cool conversation. Um, really creepy, but really, really cool. And like, wasn't, wasn't really a deep conversation, I guess, but it was, yeah, it was interesting to see the, uh, get some more info about like, the alien civilization the the sa the santi yeah the santi yeah so yeah if you've enjoyed the video make sure to drop a sub drop a like comment which check out um and hear what your thoughts are on the episode um yeah we got so we, this is episode four so we're half halfway done that means you should have this done within two weeks and then we'll probably set up another live action show um i believe doctor who starts up pretty shortly uh sometime mid-may so we'll definitely be checking that out uh because yeah i'm a I mean, I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan, but I'm a fan of Doctor Who, so um, I found the new actor too. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll do that, and then I guess I still I still haven't got around to, to doing the the Dune reaction, so that'll be that'll be up. <sighs> I'm not even gonna commit. It'll be up at some point. It'll be up. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to editing that, so we'll we'll see uh, how long. But yeah, definitely get to it at some point soon. I um, mean, yeah, let's just hop into the episode. 1982. Oh, it's Mike Evans again. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Evans. <laughs> of course I remember you. You were hard to forget. You run his oil company now. <laughs> and Mao is dead and I'm okay. a professor at Tsinghua University. Mm. Hey. Yeah, she hasn't told him yet about the... Nothing has yeah. changed with me. I'm the same man you met in Shenxi. I could use the resources available to me to do more. Kang Chun Li. <laughs> In nature, nothing exists alone. Okay, she's gonna tell him. I do not know who else to talk to. What would you like to talk about? Back on that hilltop. Oh shit. I did something. <laughs> Awesome. Really like how they did that scene. Is he gonna be okay? I feel like there might. Jin might. Oh, geez, he's really skinny. So text me if you can't make it, but. Um, oh, yeah, he doesn't know. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Jack was supposed to pick me up like an hour ago, but the bastard won't even answer his phone. Why are you here? Did they stage the footage? Oh, no, no, they didn't. Okay. Stop it. Stop. Stop it now. Verrier recruited five pet geniuses to Oxford. Now Vera and one of her pets are dead. Isn't that interesting? They want you to stop work and they want you to work for them. You have a choice, Dr. Chung. You can go home, mourn your friend, or you can help us catch the cunts who murdered him. <laughs> drink the vodka. I thought that was better than the vodka. No, drink the vodka. <laughs> Yeah, get good advice. Good advice there. I think they're real. Who? The Santi. I think they're real and they're coming. So, if nobody can do it and it's still happening, it's. I don't know how to fight aliens. Neither do. Panamax oil tanker hasn't delivered oil in 40 okay. years. Maybe a thousand people living on there. Judgment Day scenes. Let's go. Yeah, they have a whole, like. It's like a sovereign nation type of type thing, country for themselves. They're teaching everyone about it too. Interesting. We have new comrades joining us through the. Are we planning? They know about the summit. Your enemies. Ooh. They know where you are. They are watching you right now. Jeez. Don't be okay. afraid. Nothing will happen to you. We will protect you. Yeah, they, in, the, in the, I guess they might reveal that shortly in this. In the Tencent version, they don't really reveal how they are able to like see so far. Like they're so far away, but they're able to see instantly and communicate instantly. 
and they don't really show that in the Tencent version until like really early, like the last few episodes, I believe, is when we learn how. I think it might have been almost the finale, maybe. Yeah, so hopefully they show that soon, because yeah, that's awesome. I'm an entrepreneur. That's not a job, that's a <laughs> word you learn to be nice. Yeah, <laughs> you've got terrible taste in men. Just look after my mum. <laughs> oh, shit. Probably shouldn't have said that, buddy. I don't think he had a kid in the Tencent version. Or the book version. He might have, but I don't think we saw it. Yeah, we saw them. Jeez, I haven't even cleaned it up yet. God damn. This is Jack Rooney we're talking about. I don't think so. Eh, he's probably Jack. Just a guess. Uh, see? <laughs> uh, handcuffs? <laughs> Anal beat? Oh, jeez. It's probably snacks or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do data and equations and hypotheses and models. I don't do this. Best thing you can do is avoid conversations altogether. Don't talk. Listen. They know where you live, Dr. Chung. When you say they, who are you really talking about? Do you think they're in contact with aliens? Big eyes you've got. We do not understand. He intends to eat her. Yes. She does not want to be eaten. She doesn't know. A wolf is pretending to be the grandmother. We do not understand. Hmm. Well, he's wearing her clothes. He looks like her. He sounds like her. If he wanted to achieve his aim of eating her, why did he communicate with her? After he communicated with her and she learned his intentions, why didn't she run? She didn't learn his intentions. He was hiding them from her. We do not understand. Well, for Pests are destructive insects or other animals that attack crops, food, and livestock. Your enemies are human. I was using a metaphor. Bugs you can squash under your shoe. Bugs. Can't you ever say anything that you know to be false? Can't you lie? What is known is communicated as soon as communication takes place. Hmm. You do this? You lie? Well, Interesting. I, I try not to, but yeah, we all do sometimes. One way or another. We would like to speak to him. <laughs> what? There are many forests on your world. Oh, no. It's not real. We do not understand. Well, it's a story. The Red Riding Hood, none of them exist. So the story... It is a lie about a liar? Yeah. Interesting. We need to consider this. My lord. A liar is someone whose words are false. A liar cannot be trusted. Uh -oh. You cannot coexist with liars. That's not good. My lord? We are afraid of you. Uh oh. My lord. Oh man. Okay, that was a cra crazy scene. Yeah, I'm loving the stuff that I haven't seen yet. Um, that's from presumably some future books. Man, yeah, we got we got a lot of info there about like how they think and how they like they they hadn't even they don't even have the concept of lying or they they had to like they just learned that they thought the stories he was telling them were like real stories and stuff there's no um yeah i don't even know really what to say about that that was just really cool really cool um yeah i wonder what what, what evans is gonna do now if he lost contact with them like yeah i don't know that was just an awesome scene my brain isn't coming up with much else to say other than that it was yeah just awesome um yeah, definitely just think, sound like the, the, the Santi are kind of like a group thought type. They can communicate like instantaneously with, with each other, with everyone kind of. And yeah, the concept of lying just isn't like really a thing. Like they, they say what they mean always. But there is there still is free thought though, because we know there's the, the pacifist guy that, yeah, hmm. How does that work? They're, they're not like they're not a hive mind but they can communicate with each other like instantaneously is my understanding but yeah because there are there are certain ones that have free thought 
the free thinking. But I did that happen in the Tencent version where they, they they might have eliminated anyone that thinks differently than the group is I think my understanding from what I've seen before. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's just keep going. I hope we get more scenes like that because yeah, I'm really loving this stuff. That's not a uh, that I didn't see in the version I watched. Where exactly are we going? To the summit. Don't worry, our Lord will take care of us all. Our Lord. <laughs> You'll find out soon. I wonder how many people shall know of their works. Ooh, that's... I am okay. too. <laughs> I didn't think you'd come. I know that voice. I met her at the graveyard. That's true. I want the big answers. If anyone knows those answers, it's our Lord. It feels strange to say it at first. It makes us all sound like religious loons. <laughs> Except our Lord is real. Our founder is coming. How did Evans get off that boat without us seeing him? Everyone, please welcome our founder, Dr. Ye Wen Jie. Ooh. They're doing this now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, she was not expecting that at all. Nothing connecting her to any of this since the funeral. Nothing that we've seen her have. So how come they're letting us hear this? Thank you. Travel to us at enormous speeds, but it will take them centuries to arrive. 400 years. We must prepare the world for their arrival and prepare our descendants to welcome them. Our Lord, the Santi, thanks you. And mend what we have broken. Do not resist. It is our Lord's will. So pause really quick. Yeah, maybe. They didn't really go over this in the in the in the Tencent version, but maybe yeah, the reason why they allowed this to happen is because they no longer trust. I mean, this that is all this is obvious actually, but yeah, like they don't trust the humans anymore, so they're they're okay, I guess, with them being. Like, hmm, yeah. Does that even make sense actually? Because even if they don't, well, you know, yeah, because they can't. The the the, the Santi are incapable of lying. It seems so they wouldn't be able to. They wouldn't be able to like play the humans i guess is the is the word so just shutting communication down in general and then yeah mm, that, that doesn't really make sense to me actually i don't know just keep going our lord will protect us from our enemies come on let's get you out Oh shit. That was insane. Jesus Christ. Nice. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Did she escape? Is he gonna go find her? I feel like he might go find her. Yeah, what's gonna happen with him? I feel like he might. He's gotta get better, I think, somehow. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Lots of fairy tale stuff in this. Oh, there's the red riding head. This should just be us chickens. <laughs> he's back at base anyway. <laughs> he's like, yes, let's go. What's going on? He's. Yeah, that's guys. Kind of... I'm okay, I promise. I have to tell you something. I'm fucking insane. But okay. Jin, Jin, what's happening? Just listen, okay? Something doesn't feel right about it this scene. It started a long time ago. Oh, okay. He's okay. She's just gonna tell me. Oh, sorry. I, I, I was worried about something happening there, like her car or the car being like hit or something. Is this two years after she told him about the about the Santi? <laughs> this uh, Mike's Mike's young actor who looks like um 
the guy from uh, Stranger Things, uh, the, the brother, the older brother. I forget his name. Yeah, he looks, he looks similar. He looks like an older version of him. It's going to be different this time. Our own research base. No borders, no politics. No interference. It took me eight years to receive a response last time. They've been trying to reach you this whole time. What? Ever since they got your message. You left the base before they could reply again. Very important to them. They're curious to learn more about us. So long ago. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to read all this? Let me... Sorry, guys. One second. Let me see if I can read this. If I can zoom in enough. Oh, no. Okay. It's just saying... It's saying how each civilization uh, was wiped out. Yeah. They're coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got me because they let you. We didn't let you. They let you. You have no idea what they can do. You think you do. But you don't. <laughs> they are coming. And there's nothing you can do to stop them. And when they arrive... You'll be so grateful. That is creepy. Okay. All right. So that was episode four of Three Body Problem. Yes, yeah, another another really good episode. Just can't state how much I'm like enjoying this show. Um, there's still lots of changes from the from the Tencent version, and I guess the book or there's stuff being included from further books that I haven't seen. So that's always cool to get a little get some stuff I didn't really know about. So yeah, I am curious how they're going to like. There's still four episodes, right? And yeah, they they haven't shown a lot of stuff. And then there's also, it seems to be implying they're going to show stuff, even more stuff from future books. So like, I don't even know if I know the story at this point, like what's going to happen next, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I guess it's, it'll make my reactions better maybe if I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, where do, where do I even start here? Man, I, w I wish I had more to, like, say. I'm, like, so bad at, like, <laughs> coming up with thoughts. <laughs> if any of you guys have been watching other three-body reactors, um, there's this one reactor that I've been I've been watching after I, like, record my, my video for an episode. I'll go watch his reaction because it's, it's, uh, it's so good. But, yeah, the, I forget his name. He's, like, a, he's like a German physicist, I think, and he's reacting to the show. Yeah, it's, if you haven't seen his reactions, go watch them. They're, they're like, amazing. He... It's just like he goes over all the science and stuff like it's it's crazy um yeah go 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 subscribe to him if you're not already because definitely uh definitely a great great uh, reactor there but yeah so yeah the, this again the whole scenes with the lord the, the lord scenes were awesome um with the yeah with the realization that they don't they don't they don't like know how to like make up stories i guess is kind of what they're implying like they can't lie they can't make up stories they, they're matter of fact and like literal i guess is how you would say it and then because they realize that humans can lie even if the humans seem to be like helping them they can't it's like impossible to trust something that is capable of lying um which i guess adds some more context because for, for me watching the tense version like i didn't I, they didn't go over that in the, in the in the version i watched that i was always kind of under the assumption in the tense version that the that the Santi were were lying to humans about like letting letting humans live, I guess is is how I was thinking about it. Like it seemed to me like the Santi were just gonna like they were pretending that they were not gonna harm humans. I well they are they they were harming humans, but like letting the humans that are helping them survive and like making a prosperous hum humanity as well to live with them. But I guess this is this is kind of implying that the Santi learned or learn of humans being able to lie and that just makes them like a non they cannot exist with the Santi if humans can lie because that just makes them dangerous and an enemy of yeah which which is an interesting like concept is yeah yeah so yeah that definitely seems to apply that the, the, the Santi are are now gonna like operate on, on their own and so they don't need to lie they'll just be 
doing what they want to to make sure humanity isn't um like advancing uh scientifically and stuff and making them, their invasion or uh, easier but yeah I, I am curious about like because there's three books right there's three books i'm assuming there's an like there's an ending right so w would the like is there going to be a major flash forward like 400 years in the future like uh, that's that's the only thing i'm kind of wondering like well not the only thing but just like long term like does the show eventually flash forward 400 years or does it somehow it get resolved before they arrive yeah i don't know that's probably not really worth discussing right now but yeah that that is yeah i'll probably have to read the books before i uh yeah i'll definitely be reading the books before that season two of this comes out because you know you guys know all, all tv shows nowadays take like fucking forever to, to come out with with the seasons <laughs> that's the one downside of like higher quality tv is it just takes forever it didn't even it seemed to yeah that, that seems like a more recent thing actually like there was really good shows that came out that are still good to, in today's terms that were they'd come out like as soon as they finished filming a season they'd start filming the next one and now they just kind of i guess there's so much press and like there's so many like high quality actors that are doing tv and stuff that their schedules schedules are so full doing other stuff that they can't just commit to to doing more stuff right away which which sucks for the viewer because it's always yeah it's always better to be able to keep watching stuff right away anyways that's besides the point um anything else you need to add um not really um yeah i'm just i'm really just really enjoying the show i, I fuck i love sci-fi so much and this is this is definitely hitting the sci-fi itch that i've had um yeah i'm sure you guys if you guys are watching reactions i'm so, sure that means you guys are loving the show too so uh yeah but yeah one, one i say this every time but if, if you have is if this is your first experience with three body um let me know your thoughts in the comments it's like well, everyone let me know your thoughts but especially the, the three body uh newbies because yeah this the story is just like so intriguing that um yeah it's just really good <laughs> i don't know what else to say um yeah and i guess i guess for anyone who yeah i'm trying to get my buddy to read to watch this show too and i guess i haven't really had much luck like he's a sci-fi fan too but he just hasn't gotten around to it so if, if any of you guys have had luck convincing people you know to watch the show let me know because i i uh um yeah, it's definitely not as he has to go back to my to my Tencent comparisons or to my book comparison. Um, yeah, but this this isn't this definitely isn't as like sci-fi like not sci-fi like um it's not as like dense like just talking about science stuff like twenty four seven compared to the Tencent version, which was really slow and like it on it like usually I'll, usually when I find a show I like I'll binge it and stuff. But with the Tencent version, I was like I think it took me like three months to finish it because I. I I didn't want to be like fully alert when I watched it. I didn't want to. Usually, I'd be watching a show like I'll go to bed and watch like four episodes before I fall asleep. But this this show you have to be like wide awake for or the tenth version. You still need to be awake for the Netflix version, but it's definitely not as like the barrier to entry. And with it being in English, it's yeah, obviously not having to read subtitles for the whole time is is uh, makes it a bit easier. Anyways, this went on for a while. We'll just uh, we'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a sub if you enjoyed, like the video, comment your thoughts and all that. Um, if you, if there are any other shows you guys want me to check out, let me know. Um, I'm kind of, I'm trying to just keep it at like one, one like cartoon anime and one live action at a time. So I don't think I really have too much time for another show. But if there is a show that, that's coming out soon that you think might be a good watch, let me know. Um, I know that Fallout show came out that people are talking about. Also Shogun, I think, is another show I'd like to check out at some point. Um... We'll see if I have time though. It's been kind of uh, my personal life's been a little hectic lately, so I've been a little slow with with I'm a conf, I kind of fallen behind with stuff. I was planning on I was planning on getting ahead of everything and like having uploads like be ready a week in advance. But then yeah, a bunch of stuff happened in real life, and it's now I'm like a week behind on my stuff. So it's kind of uh, I'll have to start do a little couple of weeks of grinding to get back ahead of schedule. Um, but yeah, let, let me know. Let me know if, if stuff you you think I'd enjoy. I guess um, I have seen most stuff from like before now. Like I, I'm pretty on top of watching like the major stuff that comes out. So um, yeah, there's not too. Well, there's definitely stuff I missed, but for the most part, if there's a show that I've seen that I've wanted to watch, I've already watched it. So yeah, 
Um, yeah, one of the next watching. Have a good one.